Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in videos that follow this one, I'm going to teach you the general method for solving recurrence relations. But I already made a video before this one introducing recurrence relations through the Tower of Hanoi problem. There, uh, we solved the recurrence relation that represents the Tower of Hanoi problem uh, using what's called an iterative method. And the general method uh, will be a method that you can use on any recurrence relation and it's not the iterative method. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, as I said, I'll make many videos, including examples uh, and videos to follow this one, where I'll teach you in general how to solve recurrence relations. Okay, uh, but first, some terminology. So, uh, this here represents a linear homogeneous recurrence relation in general, this here. So, I just said linear and homogeneous. So, what do we mean by non-homogeneous, non-linear, and so on? So, uh, here's that. First, let's look at this simple recurrence relation. This here is linear, it's homogeneous, and it's of degree one. So we'd say that this is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree one. Okay, a very similar looking one, but slightly different. This here is still linear, still homogeneous, but it's of degree five. So here, this five, the value of k is what tells you the degree of the recurrence relation. So this here is linear homogeneous, but of degree five. Okay, and a slight different variety, this here is nonlinear, and that's because uh, h sub n minus 5 here is squared. Yeah, okay, so we see what we mean by nonlinear. And then next we look at what uh, represents the Tower of Hanoi problem. We came up uh, with this recurrence relation uh, in the video on the Tower of Hanoi problem as being the one that represents the Tower of Hanoi. Yeah, so this here represents the Tower of Hanoi problem, and it is non-homogeneous. And it's non-homogeneous because this plus one here is a term that does not involve the h sub n's. So that's what we mean by non-homogeneous when we have a term that does not contain the a sub n's. Yeah? Okay, cool. So this here is not homogeneous or non-homogeneous. And finally, what happens if any of the h sub n's are multiplied by, say, n, as in this example? Then we'd say that the recurrence relation has non-constant coefficients. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, this is it for terminology, and uh, in subsequent videos, uh, at least like five or six of them, I'm gonna teach you how to solve recurrence relations of different degrees, yeah? Okay, cool, I hope you enjoyed this, and keep watching, take care.